Well, good morning, everybody. So I'm at the Matanzas Inlet down in Florida. I'm out near Crescent Beach, um, and tide is coming in. We just had low tide as I was setting up. So it's already come up probably about a foot. So working on getting out there as soon as I can so I can take advantage of the tide coming in. But I want to go over a quick uh, walkthrough to some of the, I guess this would be phase four, the modifications I've made. Um, as you remember, I have, now I have this uh, trolling mower that I added onto it this summer. And I used to set the, the battery here on top up here. And what I found was that not only did it um, kind of not counterbalance very well, too much weight on one side, but it also made it kind of tippy. So I put it in here in this little, I got a little plastic bin in here. I glued that down so that's not moving anywhere. Uh, that's just in case any water gets inside um, the kayak, the battery's going to stay dry. And as you can see, this wire runs and connects onto this. This piece connects onto here. And then I have this connects onto the actual, runs all along up here, up to the, up to the engine. And then what I also have is, I don't know if you remember, I have that little solar panel. So there's a little backup power here. So if I need to charge that battery while I'm fishing, I unhook the, uh, the motor from here, hook this onto here, that runs all the way over to this little solar panel. And uh, it's a slow trickle, but it does help a little bit. In an emergency, I mean, an emergency situation, um, it could like save me. So anyway, let me button this up really quick and we'll go over the rest of the kayak real quick. And voila, through the magic of technology, everything's buttoned up. So I have my, of course, my tackle bag, or my I use a backpack. I found it's a lot easier to have a backpack just kind of lugging things around. It gets kind of heavy too, so it's easier just to throw it on your back. Selfie stick for my videos in case I'm going to use it. Anchor line, I got about 100 feet there. I won't nearly use that much, probably won't be any deeper than 20 30 feet of water. Um, this is my fishing crate that I made this summer. You can buy one of specifically made for fishing and pay like 60 bucks, or you can find a milk crate of free and then buy one of these rod holders and zip tie it on. And I think I spent a total of like 10 bucks on this thing. Um, but it, it just to throw my whatever. It's a watertight um, case here. I got a first aid kit in there, a light. Um, sometimes I put my wallet in there if I'm fishing in North Carolina to have my fishing license. Rain jacket. Um, this is just a bunch of rope. If you're out in the water on a boat, rope is essential. You just need line for different types of things. So it's a good just thing to have in, in case of an emergency. All right, so let's move up to the front here. Um, as you can see, everything is tethered or tied on. Um, I snapped the, uh, the little chest strap here on the backpack to make sure that stays on the seat. This is uh, tied on to here. That's my water. That's for my phone after I finish recording. Everything is on a tether. Um, I have one. This is for my paddles. Um, and in here is my forward hatch. A few little things I did. These are actually just cutting boards I got from the dollar store. I glued those down. And there's a battery in here and there's Velcro on the bottom of this, this watertight case here. So that's Velcroed in place. And you can see it's, the wires run up here. And now they come out over here. So I have two USB ports and I have a cigarette lighter adapter. This one I use specifically for my um, fish finder when I do have it. Um, it has a voltometer on it. It shows 11.9 volts. Um, this is a 12 volt battery so it's basically fully charged. Um, again, hemostats on a tether. This is a little watertight. Um, container here and that's where I keep my keys so let's go ahead and button that up nice and tight now this kayaks this specific model is supposed to be watertight all these are supposed to be watertight they're not this is the only thing that actually is um, these other things do let water in I've added some extra sealer on it to make sure that it, nothing does get in there but still some does trickle in all right so I got my scale um, fish grips and again everything on a tether and then moving forward, just my fishing, just the tackle that I'm gonna take out on there. So uh, my uh, electric motor is plugged in, so it shows that it's fully charged, got all the, the LED lights lit up. And of course, my uh, personal flotation device, which is, again, a lifesaver, so that's something I gotta have with me. But anyway, that's a quick walkthrough of what my kayak looks like now. Phase four, um, been pretty happy with how it's been performing. I have taken, taken it out on a, on a lake with this setup and it performed pretty well so this will be his first voyage in the salt water um, another change that I made and I think I've made showed this in the previous video is this propeller the one that came stock had two blades this one has three um, the one thing I did find is three blades can um, well, it's not made for three blades so the three blades do give off some vibration and I might have to switch back to the to the um, double blade oh thermometer 
here check the water temperature I'll tell you right now it's cold I've got my feet in there it was 57 degrees when I was out on Monday today's Friday um, and I don't think it's gotten much warmer than that it's been pretty overcast and cool but today's gonna be a pretty warm day I actually have shorts on so that's pretty awesome um, anyway I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas and uh, hope you enjoyed this video hope it's not too long let me know in comments if it's too long if there's any questions you have about anything that I have set up on a kayak um, but yeah here's a quick little just a quick little walkthrough and of course my anchor which I didn't mention is that's old news I've always had that gotta have that out here with the currents and the tides but yeah there she is all right y'all hope everyone's doing well bye